Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So starting yesterday, the 15th of September, Microsoft has announced that Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat and Agents are rolling out in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and also OneNote for all users. With Microsoft saying that it's included at no additional cost for Microsoft 365 users. Where previously this was not the case. And Copilot, the chat panel was only for those with a paid plan. So basically Microsoft is making this free. And the reason for this, Microsoft says that these updates help make Copilot your true personal AI assistant for work. So once again, Microsoft pushing AI into every product and service as we have been talking about on the channel. So basically what's new and how's this going to work is that Microsoft says you can pull up Copilot chat in a side pane of your file, which means less copy and pasting, file uploading and switching apps. And here we can see at the top, there's the Copilot button now that's been added. Microsoft also says that if you need to reference another file, you don't need to upload it to Copilot. You can simply type quotation, forward slash quotation, and search for what you need. They carry on to say that Copilot also automatically suggests the most relevant files like those you've most recently used. Microsoft has also mentioned that with chat GPT-5 now rolling out to all users, as I've posted on previously, responses are now faster and more consistent and while the base Copilot chat is included at no additional cost, Microsoft 365 Copilot license users can unlock advanced features according to that announcement. Microsoft has also highlighted that Copilot answers are now 30% longer and more structured with improved visuals and citations. And Microsoft also says that feedback has also brought an 11% rise in satisfaction scores showing, according to Microsoft, the assistant is getting smarter with each update. Now, that may be a good or a bad thing, depending on which side of the fence you're sitting with this. Now, if Copilot and Copilot Chat and AR are not your thing, you can disable these Copilot integrations in each app. So how you would do this, if you would be interested, is you would click File, Options, and then click Copilot in the left-hand menu of the actual dialog box that appears. And on a Mac, it's a bit different. So you can find the same Copilot menu using preferences, authoring, and proofing tools. And then what you would do is you would then uncheck Enable Copilot to disable all Copilot features in that app on the current device. So you need to do this in each individual app. Just take note of that. And once you uncheck Enable Copilot, the Copilot icon in the Home tab on the ribbon will be grayed out. And then if you want to enable and reactivate Copilot, in the individual app, once again, you just repeat the steps by checking Enable Copilot instead. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.